Hi everyone! My name is Heidi Scott and this is DIY Dreaming with Heidi Scott and on today's video I have a really fun project to show you. It's, um, it's abstract, it's uh, a little messy, um, but it's super fun and you absolutely cannot make a mistake. So this is what we're going to be creating. Isn't that cute? And um, I'll tell you what my inspiration was, and then I'm just gonna show you, we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna take you through step by step. Uh, if you're watching, I'd love for you to say hi. If you have questions, um, feel free to ask. If uh, you need help with anything, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love um, to help you with any of your creative endeavors or projects. Okay, so uh, this morning, I spent a good hour on Pinterest, which is, a terrible habit but when you have a creative business you can justify it so I spent a long time on Pinterest this morning and then I went down into my basement and I was looking through some of the projects that I did last summer and um, I saw this I did a video on this last year so if you want to go to my Facebook page which is DIY dreaming um, and look through the videos you may be able to find this video of how I created this. Let me show you a little closer. And um, I was motivated to do a project using some of these sand dollars that I had purchased at a um, seashell shop last summer. So this was my jumping off point and how I made this was using chalk art. I know it, it or chalk paste, whatever you want to call it. I know it doesn't really look like it was made that way, but it was. So, I'm going to show you step by step how you can get that look. Oh, and before I um, jump into that, let me show you a couple other things that I just pulled up from the basement that were projects from, from last year. This was just this little wood box from Walmart. They still have them this year. And this was a, um, a starfish that I had purchased a few years back at a seashell shop when we were on a vacation. And I painted it silver and then I gilded it with gold leaf. So I thought I would show you, show you that. And then this is not uh, seashore related, but these colors are the colors that I'm gonna be using for the project today. And I made this last year, and this just is one of these little um, boards that you can get um, all over the place. I think this one came from a maker studio, but I know they have something similar at Walmart as well. It was painted black, and then using chalk art, and the colors that I'm going to show you today, I did this sort of ombre effect, which is where one color bleeds into the next. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you those and they can go back down in my basement or maybe here on my little display. I'm not sure. Okay, so the fun thing about this project is that you're gonna be using chalk paste in a non-traditional way. You're essentially going to be um, scraping or painting with it. And then at the end, we'll do a stencil as well, which is more of a traditional use for, for a chalk art. And we're gonna be using um, this stencil from a maker studio. It is, hey Diana, it's Alphabet One. Honestly, I have not used this stencil set, this alphabet set very much, but I'm super attracted to it this summer. It really reminds me of the font used in all of that Ray Dunn pottery that is and has been so popular. So um, we're gonna be stenciling the word joy using alphabet one. Okay, so the colors that we will be using Oh, thank you. She says it's a cute project. Okay, the colors of chalk paste that we will be using for this project are, oops, so forth and so on. This is from a maker studio. This is this awesome deep turquoise color. Everything does dry a little bit lighter. Um, we have a light, light blue called cute as a button. And then this one is my favorite, Water to My Ocean. It is also a turquoisey, but um, it's not as intense of a color, can you see, as um, the so forth and so on. 
And then for the white that says joy, we'll be using Peace and Joy, which is a white chalk paste. All of these products here that I'm using for this project today are from a maker studio. And if you're interested in purchasing any of those, I'll make sure, sure that there's a link with this, whether you're watching this on Facebook, Instagram, if you're on my YouTube channel watching it, um, I'll make sure that in the information that there are links so you can hop on and order some of these awesome chalk pastes if you want. Hey, and if you haven't already, I would love it for you to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I usually do two or three videos every week. They're simple projects like this that are quick, easy, affordable, Sometimes they're a little messy. This one's a little messier than normal. Uh, but you don't have to have any artistic abilities and you don't have to spend a ton of money to do any of the projects that I um, do videos on and have on my YouTube channel. So, oh, and last thing, if you want a little touch of shimmer on this project, you can also use um, some of this metallic silver chalk paste. It's called chalk art with a maker studio. Okay, so let's jump right in. So these little canvases are available everywhere. I either picked this up, hey Margo, happy belated birthday. I either picked this up at uh, Walmart in a package of probably six for $10 or Hobby Lobby or something. They're super inexpensive, maybe a dollar or two a piece. What I like about this type of a canvas is that it's wide enough that it can just set up on its own. Um, and they're inexpensive, so if I completely mess it up and hate it, I don't feel bad throwing something that costs $2 or so away. But So this is what we're gonna start with. And we're going to use a scraper, and we'll probably start with one of the darker colors of chalk paste. Now what I like to do is I like to cut these things up into smaller pieces. Um, they're much easier to work with and these things are like 50 cents. So if you do happen to go on to get some of the chalk paste for this project, grab a couple of these while you're at the a Maker Studio link um, because you'll, you'll use these. They get kind of yucky looking eventually, a little stained but they work forever, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just going to open our chalk paste and I'm essentially going to stick my little flipper scraper thing in and get a, um, a pretty light, thin coat of the chalk paste on it. You do wanna always remember to close your pots up quickly. Um, with any brand, they, they dry and get hard and then they're not uh, as easy to work with. So, okay. So you're essentially just going to start running your little scraper back and forth over your canvas. And the parts where the canvas is raised is where your chalk paste will come off. Okay, can you see what I'm talking about? Um, you don't want it too thick on your scraper or it'll just be big, big blobs. Um, although big blobs are not a problem. You're going to have some of those uh, on your project. For sake of um, you guys watching, I'm just going to show you the front, how to do the front of this. But you can also go back and do all the sides as well. Okay, so that's coat number one with so forth, so on and so forth, chalk paste from a maker studio. I may come back and add some more, but this is what I've got so far. Pretty? No. And you do wanna wear some protective clothing or just be careful because when you're using your scrapers like this, it can tend to flick the chalk paste around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the next one, which is gonna be water to my ocean. I'll get a different little scraper. And I'm literally just sort of dipping it in here to get the um, chalk paste on my little scraper. Thin. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. 
Okay, here I made a goof already, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to fix it. See, I got that big blob. You can just take a little paper towel. And sort of thin that blob out. And then I'll go over that spot with, um, with a lighter color. It's going to... It's gonna look great no matter what. You Like I said, you really cannot make any mistakes with this project. And let me see. I had some big blobs on this one too, down here. So, okay. Now I'm going to, you can see my hands are starting to get all messy pretty soon. By the end of this first project I did, I had it all the way up my, <laughs> up to my elbows. But this stuff is all water-based and super easy to clean up. And as far as getting it on my table, I just took a damp sponge and um, wiped off all the, the little bits and it was just fine. Okay, now I'm gonna put some of this lighter color blue called Cute as a Button on my other piece of spreader. This is what that color looks like. You can see what happens basically is the raised areas on my canvas are what grab onto the chalk art. Um, and I do want to show you how much it will dry, how much lighter it will dry so you can compare. So in case you're worried that this looks really dark, it won't dry that way. And it probably won't take more than about 10 minutes to be uh, dry to move on to the next step. I'm just gonna put a little more cute as a button on here. And I don't want it too thick on my little spreader. Uh, you can go all different directions or you can just kind of go always in the same direction. Um, you could just you could do a heavier, darker color at the bottom if you wanted. I mean, it's this is so up to you how you want to make the project that it really, um, it just does not matter. So that is basically what you have so far. Um, for fun, we could do a little silver just to give it a little, um, a little touch of sparkle and this is called metallic silver I didn't do that too much on the other project I don't think now if you're in a huge hurry to move on to the next step which is how I always feel I'm so impatient um, you can take a hair dryer and put it on a one of the cooler settings and you know about 12 inches away you can just hit it with a hair dryer to speed up the drying process um, I don't know, can you see that it has now a little bit of shimmer on it okay the next step would be um, to take a hot glue gun and take your sand dollar and decide where you want that to be I knew when I made mine that I was going to be um, putting uh, some jute or twine or whatever, hemp, whatever you want to call this stuff, around the bottom. So I decided to place mine. I just did three little dabs of hot glue and stuck it in the middle towards the top third of this canvas. And then I used um, my letter J and Y with the white chalk art on either side which I won't show you that now because uh, it's not dry enough to move on to that step and then I um, decided that I wanted to just use the plain jute which this stuff is available every every everywhere super inexpensive I have multiple rolls of this in different drawers in the house um, different thickness and um, 
gosh, you can add a little charm to something for pennies. So if you don't have several rolls of this in different, different thicknesses, you can buy this at um, Target, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, online. Amazon's a great source for this kind of stuff too. Um, so I just cut out a long piece of it, tied it around the bottom, and put a little bow off to the side. That's what I did with that one. But I wanted to share some other ideas of what you could do to embellish it. Um, this is this pretty ribbon that came from Michael's that is brown. Let me get a little closer. And it, hey Terry, it has, hey Deborah, it has um, a light bluey color stitch on the edges of it. That would be pretty to put on the bottom. Or you could use some good old fashioned raffia. And I've seen it in blue colors. Or you could even use some of this um, leather cording. It's just completely up to you. And I believe that you should use what you have instead of going out and purchasing uh, more. So look, if you're a crafter or a DIYer, look around and see what you have and, and try to use that first before you go out and purchase uh, more supplies. Other than you probably don't have these these colors of chalk art, chalk paste, just sitting on hand, and you probably don't have these little canvases, but otherwise, I think you should just try to use what you have. Hey, Jackie. Um, so that was basically it. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanna tell you? Um, this is a good project to do with your kids when they're at home. This is a good little, um, just something to give to a friend and there's lots of words that you can use this idea with a, a sand dollar um, you're gonna look for words to stencil that have an o in them like joy hope love what was the other one uh gosh i can't think of it right now but anyways um so, so you can use that. You could use a, um, a starfish in place of an A. And so you could do peace or happy. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can do just using this idea, using your chalk paste in an unconventional way as a, a a type of paint to create an abstract piece of art. And um, that is pretty much for today. If you have any questions, let's see who's on. Hey Diane, hi Jackie. If you have any questions at all, um, if you're having a hard time figuring out where my affiliate link is to a maker studio so that you can order these products um, or anything at all, just let me know. Um, you can reach out to me through my Facebook, which is DIY Dreaming. You can reach out to me um, through Instagram. You can reach out to me through YouTube. So, Or if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see that I have my phone number and an email address there as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you decide to try this project or a variation of it, I would love to see a picture. So come back to where you found it and uh, feel free to share a picture of your completed projects there as well. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, have a, a good um, time crafting and being creative.